everyone it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel today I have a brand new art journaling tutorial using Marabou's easy marbling I don't know if you recall a few days ago I showed you guys how to create marbling and these are the results that I did some of the parts that I did were on art journaling pages like this ones and today I want to show you how I am going to embellish these art journaling pages because it's such an easy way of creating just a beautiful backgrounds I also did another one with for with a larger journal and look how it turned out really 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 cool and I'll do this one on another day and I even did it on yapo paper so everything worked well and I will link that video below so you can see how to create easy marbling on any type of surface I did it on glass on wood and basically you can use it on anything but today I want to do the art journal and I'm just going to recap how I did this this one art journal page didn't come out as striking as this one so I'm going to create a second layer to it just so you can see how to create it so all you have to do is use the easy marble from marabou this is the green color and i will show you how to use it you need a bucket of water and all you do is just start adding it to the background and you add it in the center and it starts pulling in the center of the of the area and you have to work kind of fast I just realized I didn't put my gloves on which I usually do I just want to add more color and I will grab the glove in a second so the more color you add the larger the circle is going to become I also have this clear color that basically creates a clear circle in the middle and there is that one and I will create another green one as well okay you could leave it the way it looks like that which looks really nice the way I did it on the yapo paper but you could also easily marble things by moving things around as well there we go and then all you have to do is just put the paper on this and it works perfectly on any surface look how beautiful that is love it and just want to grab anything that I missed and there we go and now we have kind of two matching papers two, two, two matching sides because I'm going to do a double spread so let me dry this up and I'll be back in a few minutes okay so what I went ahead is I wanted to create this art journal and I was trying to figure out what to do and I remember that I bought this Donna Downey dand dandelion pods stencil and I'm going to open it up I haven't used it yet I bought it a while ago but I just you know you never know what you're gonna get inspired with and I thought that I could create these pods and create and use some of the marble effects to kind of play around with it so I have to kind of place it in a place that will work well with the marbling and of course I can move it around I'm going to be using the impasto paint to stencil it and a little sponge so all I'm going to do is just add impasto paint here on my mat this is the Ken Oliver mat and you can see everything goes on it and it's and it cleans perfectly so I really love this mat because of that okay so I'm going to just stencil the pods that I want so this is a really great way of creating really fun effects on your background use it I'm going to move it around there that's good I'm going to I want to do the other side and let this dry a little bit just because I don't want to mess it up and it did work a little bit the paper so I need to just flatten it up a little bit that's all let's use these ones now I'll use this one not that it matters they're very similar to each other but I just want to use a different one for a change this one and I will use this one over here and it's good to use uh, thicker 
you want to use a thicker paint it's better that way that way it's easier to stencil you can dab or you can just go around and do it like this oops got stuck let's try a, small, a shorter one over here oh well, let's see I want uh, this one maybe over here there we go and let's see how many do I want I don't even know that looks nice it's just missing over here I might want to superimpose another one here because I think when they are bunched up together they look nice like that there we go and then here I just want a taller one over here let's see if I can make a taller one over here this one is pretty tall yeah that's good let's see so this is basically just war working with the stencil oh how cool yeah very nice I just now it's too even so we'll see we'll play around with that and see if how it works okay so now I want another let's see maybe this one over here maybe lower down for this one and you see I'm using very little paint you don't really need a lot of paint to create fun fun things with it you can even have it sticking out of the page like the way I'm doing right there. So this one is kind of sticking out of the page. I just want to put this stick all the way, oops, all the way down. There we go. That looks nice, except for this one is too even. I think it should have something else, maybe maybe I'll have the last one over here kind of sticking out from here maybe we'll uneven things here a little bit because I don't like it all being so straight okay that's good so those are my pods and I'm going to clean my stencil and be right back now if you don't have these pods you can definitely hand draw the circles it doesn't really matter I just like having a stencil and all I'm doing here is grab my Posca pen and I'm just closing in the circles. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to be covering the background, leaving just the circles inside. And I want to make sure that they're solid. This is Posca pens are paint markers, so they're acrylic paints, so it's perfect because it goes on basically any any type of surface. And since the paint is already acrylic, it's perfect for this. So I'm just sealing in the different holes here to make sure that they're they're working for. I mean that they that they don't have any openings. And these dry the same as acrylic paints. So this is what I mean. You can definitely create your own shapes because you can see I'm doing that. I'm just doodling with my marker okay I kind of felt like I wanted to add something here even though it's kind of crossing both both um, journals I thought I could add an extra so circle right there so let me do that now with the same thing that I had just done with the same sponge and everything I'll just grab a little bit of black okay and I'm just thinking you know what it's a missing something there I figured it, even though it's a double spread layout it will still look good like that so just finishing up oh yeah it looks so cool with that one there okay so I'm gonna heat set this as well the next part is the one that takes the longest because I want to basically cover the background I finish marbling everything and then I want to kind of differentiate between the pods, the circles inside and the outside. So for that, I'm going to use some white paint and you want to make sure that everything is thoroughly dry. So I'm just checking to make sure this looks like it's needs a little bit more. 
and all I'm going to do is I'm going to use the white impasto paint you could also use white gesso so it's up to you the only reason why I want to use the impasto paint is because it's quite thick and it's really it gives it a good coverage so I'm going to start basically painting and going around the circles carefully to make sure that I cover everything now you don't have to like completely completely cover in the sense of it being like you can't see anything behind you can do that but it's sometimes nice to have a little bit of color in the background so even if like the purple or the green kind of sticks out a little bit that's okay that's not a problem you can it will still look really good just want to the most important is basically when you're outlining around the pods to make sure that they cover because then they will kind of stand out a lot more so I'm just basically painting around them carefully so that's basically all I'm doing and as you can see you can already see with the first part over here that it kind of hides everything under in from the background and then you really see the beautiful design inside like the marbling itself which is really cool I think personally so you never know it's almost like a surprise you're not going to know although you can see the marble like for example this one won't show as much it's kind of missing marbling over here and I didn't realize that until I put it on but that's okay I uh, you have to I mean you can plan this ahead if you want but if you can't then you just go with the flow like I always do I always say go with the flow don't worry don't worry if it doesn't come out exactly how you think it should because sometimes it comes out even better and you don't even know I am going to add a little bit of water one one little bit spritz of water to my white so it can kind of blend easier it does dilute it a little bit which is not what I want because I want it to be quite thick but it's just easier to apply especially around the pods because otherwise it's too thick like it happened over here and if you make a mistake with the black with the black and you cover a little bit of the black don't worry about it you can always go with a black marker afterwards and just repaint it right so it's not really a big deal don't stress over it it's just an art journal it's just for experimenting so I do like experimenting with this and some of the pods are lighter some of the ports pods are more blue some are more green and if you made any mistakes stenciling as well you see I can cover it up with uh, with the black how cool is that I love it now you can also incorporate other colors into this which we'll see what happens once I I'm done to see what I want to do I might do some doodling I don't know haven't decided yet now if you need to do a second layer a second layer of the white that's okay as well you see me going back and forth and trying to cover some of the darker areas and that's okay you just go and do another layer another layer of the white it's not a problem now I'm doing the other side so what I love about this journal is that you can work flat on it you can remove easily remove the pages out of it this is the joggles disc bound journal and you can easily remove the pages and put them back in so you don't have to struggle with like a book where the pages are uneven it's just so easy to just take these out and put them back in again once you're done so I'm really loving that because of it I find it easier working on this side so this is why I mean 
it's so easy to just turn this around move this flip it do whatever you need to do and then you just put it back where you need to be the pages of this journal are watercolor based they're quite thick so they take medium really well so that's why I like them so much because for mixed media they're perfect although you could use them for obviously for watercolor or any type of painting because I'm most of my art journaling pages are mixed media based this journal is just perfect for that and as I mentioned before about the mat I mean obviously I'm linking everything below but this Ken Oliver mat I've had it for so long a couple of years I think already since it came out basically and it cleans so nicely and the nice thing about it it has a cling static to it so my pages don't move don't start moving around the way they do with other mats now you see me painting around the paws do I need to be exact no I don't really care it's an art journal it doesn't need to be exact exact everything like if you as I said go over something and that you didn't want to you can always fix it with a marker with removing it with a wipe or just fixing it somehow or leaving it the way it is going with the flow there's so many options so cool I love the marble effect I love 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 it so this is the basically the last little bit that I'm painting and then I'm going to go back and basically just check to make sure that everything I wanted covered got covered that um Think like places are covered properly and I can just go over some of the areas where maybe I missed so it's really easy to just do that okay so I can move it back to how it's supposed to go and there you have it how cool is that I might add a little bit more as I said to just cover some extra areas here that are not were not covered properly and then um, I just fix everything with the paint marker so the marbled ones looks really really cool these ones that are white turned out different but that's okay like you know I, I guess I could have planned it in advance and and figure out and make sure I'm putting pods in places where there is no white or very little white but I think even like white pods are still beautiful I just really like this yay i'm excited okay so i'm going to wash my paintbrush i'm going to heat set this really well i want to make sure it's fully dry before i do anything else okay so i could have added more white to the background and we've got a second layer but i actually like that it shows a little bit of the color in the background you still see the pods really well so that's why i didn't want to add a second layer i like it distressed like that and i'm grabbing my posca pen again and I just want to basically outline any any issues that I had or anything that I made a mistake on or if I went over the white the wrong way like you know I went too much over because obviously when you're painting I'm not like the perfect I don't paint perfectly so if anything got missed I can easily fix it this way here I went a little bit over with the with the white so this is why i mean just fixing any mistakes that i did with the white that's the easy part so that's why i said don't worry you just get a, one of these pens any type of i mean a, probably a black marker would wa work as well there we go so that's basically it for the fixing and then i thought to add a little bit of art journaling with my foodable pen doesn't always i'm not always know if it's going to work or not but if it doesn't i'll go back to the posca pen it's not a problem so i'm trying to think how to work this because i want to add words maybe on the stems but i also thought that i could add things around or some kind of like say i don't know i start journaling and i just start doodling and figuring it out all by myself so that's what i'm going to do maybe i'm i'm, I'm sometimes write too perfect I've seen it done where like things are should have like higher later letters and stuff like that so I'm gonna be quiet a little bit just to concentrate on what I'm going to write
and you see how cool it looks it really looks really fun because the red letters are going in all the in all directions I just really like just writing randomly and I'm just basically expressing my feelings and saying things that I feel and they basically kind of transform themselves to the page. And the funny thing is that I'm not going in any direction like I'm just writing things randomly because I'm not following a pattern so it doesn't really matter it's just for basically releasing my emotions and that's it there we go so that is my writing I just need to fix a little bit here I just realized that I went in with the pen so anything that I might have made a mistake on or if my if or is the pen kind of um, rubbed on my hand when I was writing so I'm just fixing those mistakes there we go and now I'm going to take this marabou art crayon and I always say this that I always like creating borders around my my layouts so I'm gonna do the same thing again because I really feel like they need borders I feel like they are kind of lost when they're like not framed i really like having a border around things it makes a huge difference for me but you don't have to do this part this is optional if you like it without the border if you maybe you want it just at the bottom that's up to you you have this these crayons are so creamy and they're really really great so I love working with them. So there we go. That looks really nice. And now I just want to add a few words. This is from the Small Talk uh, Tim Holtz uh, words. And it says, imagine your life. And this is perfect to basically add right here in this empty pod. So it's a message for everyone. Basically, imagine your life, how you would want your life to be. You can imagine it in any way you want and these stickers obviously need to be sealed i'm going to seal them with some gel i'm just going to use a little bit of just the gel with my finger just to kind of seal this in maybe clean my finger would be a good idea to do and then what i'm going to do is once this is dry i'm going to basically highlight the words with the black again because you need to be able to see them I heat set this really well because I wanted to add a little bit of a green marabou crayon in the edges or in the border a little bit. And just to be careful because the Fuda Ball is a, is a pigment ink. So you have to be very careful not to blend it with the rest of the stuff or you want it to be very dry, you want it to be very dry for it to not blend. I felt like it was needing a little bit of color if it felt too I don't know too white or black or whatever like it felt like it wasn't contrasting with the things so just a little bit of color here and there and it makes a huge difference in the layout I could even add a little bit of purple oh the, the purple is not the same shade but still maybe it would look nice as well and you don't need to add it everywhere you just need to add a little bit of it in certain areas and it just makes a whole lot of a difference and I'm kind of blending it going in inwards to help that border and if you make a mistake you can always remove some of it I also brought in a turquoise looking crayon just to add a little bit of highlights of the turquoise color it's not the exact same as the aquamarine color that I used here but just to add a little bit of that bluish color I think it adds enough to the background that you can actually like see how pretty it looks I'm just going to add a little bit more around here 
and I love how these blend they blend so nicely which is so nice to see because it makes a huge difference when you're adding them you don't see the lines so I really love these crayons really really nice here you can do this with this I'm gonna make a little bit of this and mix it with water I'm thinking to add a couple splatters so just a few splatters here and there Maybe it needs a little bit more. It's too, too watery. Oh, that's cool. Just a little bit. So this is it. I'm done my layout. And now all I have to do is just pop it back into my art journal. And this is so easy to do you just have to pop it in and I'll show you how well it looks this is why I love this journal so much because it's so easy to just pop the pages in and out and then there you have it it's an art piece of art in your journal so I'm really happy with how this turned out. I love I had I love the marbling. I had so much fun making the marbling and then doing the shapes. You could use any type of stencil or you could draw your own shapes. That's up to you. And just have fun with it and enjoy creating. And this is just so nice. I love it so much. So thank you so, so much for visiting me today on my YouTube channel. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also visit me on my website. I have um, more photos that you can see in close up. And if you want to be notified about my videos, just click the little bell right beside the subscribe button and that way you will notif be notified every time there is a new video thank you so much for everything and have an amazing day bye